Hi everybody, it is April and I am in my craft room and today is Memorial Day in the United States of America. So Di and I came up with the greatest idea for Memorial Day. We are going to both make Memorial Day quilts and we're both going to use patterns that incorporate stars. So don't go anywhere. I'm going to show you mine, and at the end of the video, I will show you Dye's quilt. It is gorgeous. I am going to make a quilt with my red, white, and blue. Let me show you the fabrics. I have this QT fabric from Dan Morris. I have this star fabric from Riley Blake. And I have this happy place fabric with flip-flops from Studio E. I have three yards of fabric. Can you guess what I'm going to do with them? If you recall, the last time I made a three yard quilt, this book had just come out. Make it patriotic. Is this not the perfect opportunity to make it patriotic? I think so. So I have picked and guess what they did? They have started putting the names under the quilts on the back of the book cover, which I think is awesome. So I am making Liberty and it is the one in the middle. Let me show you a bigger picture. Here is Liberty. Now this pattern does not belong to me, so I cannot share measurements, but I certainly can share how I put my fabric together and how I create the blocks. So let's cut up this fabric and get started. Here is fabric one. So my flip flops are going to be my feature fabric and I need to cut some strips of this fabric for my blocks. The first thing that I will do, I will straighten the edge of my fabric. So I make sure that the rest of my strips are straight. Now I will cut the rest of my strips. Done with fabric one. Now we move on to fabric two. Fabric two is not the feature fabric and it is not the darkest fabric. So I will again straighten up the edge and cut out what I need from fabric two. That is what is left of fabric two. Now we are going to cut fabric three and fabric three is the darkest of the three fabrics. That is after you've already chosen your feature fabric. So feature fabric is the one that you want to stand out. Then of the two other yards of fabric that you have, the darkest one will be fabric three and the other one will just default to fabric two. The directions call for me to cut out some more of this fabric for the border, but I'm going to hold off on that because I may want my border to be wider than what the pattern calls for. So let me subcut any of these I need to subcut and then we'll get on to the instructions of how to put these together to create our quilt. The first thing that our pattern calls for is to take one fabric one strip and one fabric two strip and make a total of two sets. The next step in our pattern is to take one fabric two strip and one fabric three strip and sew those together making two assemblies. 
So instead of doing one and two and two and three at different times, I'm going to do them all at the same time to save time. Now remember, right sides together. I cannot tell you how many times I have not sewn right sides together. And these things are with the fabric. That is a long stitch to rip out. Ask me how I know. I'll be right back. As you can see, I have all of my strips sewn together. Now I'm going to subcut those strips per the instructions. I'm hoping they all get subcut the same way and I can just stack them up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stack these up. Now I did press them, so I'm going to stack them. I did not cut the selvage edge off before I sewed them together. And the way I'm going to stack them is where their seams won't touch. So I can keep them nice and straight, but I don't have a lot of bulk that I need to go over. So you can see they're all stacked up on one another. I'm going to go to the end and cut off the selvage edge. So now I'm just going to follow the instructions and subcut my fabric. And this gives me four of my units. Now what I'm going to do with those is I'm going to take this unit and this unit and sew them together to make a four patch. And that is what I'm going to do with all these subcut units once I get them all done. Here is the fun part of our project. Now there are multiple ways to get half square triangles. The way I'm going to do it right now is I'm going to put my square and line up two of the points that are across from one another on a straight line on my mat. Then I'm going to place my ruler down along that straight line and use a pin and you can use a Sharpie or whatever you choose to make this mark. Once we've done that, we need to get fabric three which is the other half of our half square triangle. And then lay one block on top of the other. What we're going to do from there, and this is another tool that you can use to mark your half square triangles. We are going to sew a quarter inch seam on either side of that center line. And I shouldn't say of either side. We are going to sew a quarter inch seam on both sides of that line. This line is where we will cut our triangles. I can chain piece. Once I'm done sewing the one side, then I'm going to flip them around and I'm going to sew the other side. I'm going to cut these apart. There will be two threads since I sewed on either side of that center line. And then I will take my ruler, I will line it up on that center line, and I will cut. So now when I open this up, 
I have two half square triangle blocks. Now I need to press them. Conveniently enough, I happen to have a wool mat right next to where I cut these and I'm going to press them because these are very susceptible to being stretched right now. So you just fold it over. I'm folding it towards the dark side and then I'm just going to press the center and they are nice and flat. Now we need to get these to the size that we need. There are multiple ways to get your block down to the size that you need it. The first way is to press your block open and then have a ruler that is the size of the final block and you place it on your cutting mat and you cut the pieces. And there is your perfect half square triangle block. What makes this process even easier is if you have a rotating cutting mat to get that perfect half square triangle. Another way is to press your half square triangle but leave it closed and then there are these rulers by New Leaf Stitches and you line up this ruler on your block. You hold it down, you cut either side and that gets rid of the excess. Then there are slits on the side where you cut You then have this half square triangle block with no wings, just like you did on the one with the block with the square ruler. You use that method, you press your block open after you cut down the block, not before. And again, perfect half square triangle block. Those are two tools that you can use. Now I am going to finish the other 45 of these blocks and when I come back we'll see how we're going to put this quilt together. So we have put together our four patch and we should have yeah. We have sewn and trimmed 96, 96 half square triangle blocks. And then we have our center square. So I'm going to show you how to take all these pieces and parts to create this block. And our quilt consists of six of these. So here I have sewn these half square triangle blocks together to make the points of my star or the arrows. So now I can put this row together, then this row together, then this row together, and hold on, I forgot one part. Then I can sew all those three together and I'll have my block. see 
where I've put the whole block together. And here you can see where I have finished each of the six blocks. Now I'm going to put these two together and then I'm going to add this border. I'll be right back. My quilt top is complete. I've looked it over. I don't see any issues. This is probably one of the most labor intensive three yard quilts that I've done. But when you look at the outcome, you can't help but be proud that you took the time to do it. So this is my Memorial Day quilt. Now all that's left to do is quilt it. I think I'm going to use a navy blue cotton gauze on the back and I believe I am going to quilt it in such a way, I'm going to try to quilt it in such a way that the stars come out as focal points. So let me go quilt it and we'll see if I can do that make the stars the focal point. I want to thank you all for watching my video. For those of you who watch my channel that aren't from the United States, you can always use your country's colors in that three yard quilt and I guarantee you it's going to turn out beautifully. Have a great day, eat some chocolate, and be kind to everyone. Until next time, bye. And don't forget, coming up right now, Dye's quilt. With the country's colors, blah, 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 blah. For those of my... <laughs> and we are going to make an a memorial and a mama. Wow. I think I'm going to use a cotton...